The River State Governor, Yesom Wike, has accused an unknown police officer in Mufti of harassing his convoy with an AK-47 rifle while he was on project inspection, fueling insinuations that it was an attempted assassination. The governor, who spoke on Friday when the new commissioner of police, Mr. Friday Ebuka, visited him at the government house Port Harcourt, said the incident happened on Thursday while he was on an inspection tour of the new River State's legislative residential quarters. He said the unknown AK-47 wielding police officer followed his convoy to a point where he inspected the speaker's residence but was later challenged by his security details. He said, Yesterday, I was going out for inspection. We saw one guy carrying AK-47 and he was not on police uniform. He was on Mufti blocking us from water lines junction when we went to inspect the river state assembly's quarters ongoing project we moved on to inspect the speaker's residence project and the man was still following us so the security wondered what's going on and stopped him wiki urged the new police commissioner to shun politics and stay within his professional mandate to fight crime without fear or favor. Speaking on the abduction of over 300 schoolgirls in Zamfara State on Friday, the governor said there was high level of criminality in society and that professional police officers should not abandon their duties of protecting life and property for any other interests. Wiki said Nobody should be above the law, and if any criminal was arrested, such person should be charged to court without fear or favor. While addressing the police boss, he said, I will never come to you to say, Mr. CP, go and do what is illegal. I will never come to you to say so, and so person is my friend. He was arrested for kidnapping, so release him. In fact, I will even say take him away. Because if I support the person who is kidnapping, it may be my turn tomorrow. I won't always be governor. So, whatever you do, or whatever you can do with your team, please, I beg you in the name of God, provide security. Don't come here and play politics. Wike said he was aware that some persons might have recommended his appointment, but admonished him to let his conscience guide him. He commended the CP for reorganizing the C41 unit of the State Police Command and pledged to support the team to succeed in their task to combat crime. Wike observed that the level of kidnapping in the state had increased because the immediate past CP abandoned his duty and was hobnobbing with non-state recognized chiefs. The level of kidnapping has gone high in the society. Your former colleague abandoned the job and was being deceived by some people who feign that they are traditional rulers. It's most unfortunate that the former CP will be going to traditional rulers to be hosting him. It's a shame. Now Nigerians don't have confidence anymore in security agents, he said. We get disclosed to the new CP that his administration provided the state police command with about 150 vehicles. But he regretted that most of the vehicles were mismanaged and some were diverted. In his speech, the new commissioner of police, Friday Eboka, said he was he has disclosed the E crack team, sorry, he has dissolved the E crack team of the state police command because of the uncanny report against it and redeployed the officers to other units. 
he told the governor that he needed an effective synergy with all stakeholders, especially the River State government, to succeed on his mission of fighting crime. He said, My duty, essentially in this state, is to fight crime and criminality. I know I cannot do that work alone without synergy with other stakeholders. I want to assure you, Mr. Governor, that any assistance given to us will be used to improve the security of the state. I have told my men that there is no armed chair policing in my administration. My officers have been warned to shun corruption, be civil with the public, and we will not tolerate accidental discharge, he said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? This is the latest information coming. The governor of River State escaped assassination, as it were, as a, a, an unknown policeman on Mufti with AK-47 was following him about, and uh, his plan was not known until his security detail accosted him. Well, it is sad and unfortunate, as it were. The, what could, or who could have been behind the assassination plot of Governor Yesomwiki, or why exactly was he uh, being profiled for assassination, as the case may be? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. We never can tell what is going on. According to the governor himself, he said that an unknown police officer in Mufti wielding an AK-47 rifle was harassing his convoy and at some point was following him about until he was accosted by the uh, governor's security detail. Nobody could have told what would have happened if eventually he was not accosted. Well, it is what it is. He didn't give further details as what they did to the man and uh, what happened eventually, but the little he was able to reveal was that he survived an assassination attempt. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. The level of insecurity in the country is definitely porous and everybody is aware. But however, we must not give up on the fight to uh, for our lives on the fight for our freedom or the fight for our survival as we cannot allow you know forces that should protect us to cut away our freedom well drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories endeavor to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.